All right, so here we are. So I should definitely start by letting X0 denote like, X, let XK be tangent of A, I, AK, well, let's see why. Tangent of AI minus pack pi quarters. Um, so, what does that tell you about tangent of a... So... Da, da, da. Y in minus one? I don't know, but I want to start by getting rid of the trick. So... Tangent AI is equal to tangent of AI minus pi quarters. Uh, I'm just going to 45 degrees. Who oh, am I kidding? I think of them in degrees. Uh, and then the tangent addition for this, this is a tan A minus 45 degrees plus tangent of 45 degrees, which is 1. 1 minus... Okay, so this is like xi 1 minus xi, I guess. Yeah, I see the construction in the chat. I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you about it. <laughs> like. Great, there's another construction. Like, we know they exist, but I don't see any anything useful in them. Okay, so, the problem is saying that, um, without the trig, uh, if sum of xi is at least n minus 1, then sum of, or sorry, product of xi plus 1, 1 minus xi, Okay, so now I have to check. Xi are in the interval of minus 1 to 1, right? Yeah, minus 1 to 1. Okay, so that's a rephrase problem. Um, and, well... Do I just use Jensen? It's <laughs> uh, so like I can take the log here, right? Is that function convex? I have no idea. But I feel like I'm in pretty good shape because at very worst case, like even if... Let me, okay, let me first figure out what the equality case. One minus one over n will give n plus 1 over n. Yep, so the equality case is when they're all... Okay, so at this point, maybe, like, because of that, maybe I want to let 1 minus xi be the variable instead. Uh, sorry, 1 minus... That just seems more natural. So, we're gonna say let, uh, yi... Let's call it yi be 1 minus xi. So we phrase again. So now we have yi are most one. Uh, these numbers are in the open interval zero, comma two. Uh, so yi is in zero two. So all I'm doing is rephrasing the problem in terms of variables that look like they are less terrible. Um, why I? Ah, no, no. Okay. Why I? This is from i equals zero to n, and this is uh, two minus y i. So maybe I better just write this as two over y i minus one. <laughs> Where I already messed up somewhere because equality doesn't hold anymore. Equality was supposed to hold when y i is one over n and it doesn't look like that's true here. So what did I mess up? 2 over yi, 2 and min- okay, I messed something up. Alright, what was it before? 
2 minus yi. Quality case should have been with all 1 over n. 1 over n. Wait. No, 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 no. What did I do? I, I did the wrong substitution. Um, what's the equality case? So minus 1 over n. This is n. Wait a minute. What did I do? Equality did not hold before. Uh, never mind. So I am just dumb, and equality didn't hold before. Uh, so I found the wrong equality case? I don't believe that. Um... What? Okay, when is this equal to n? That's my actual question. x plus 1 over 1 minus x equals n. Like, equality really should be when they're all equal, so let's see what's going on. And if and only if... xi plus 1... Yeah, no, it's fine. What, what did I do with that? Uh, yi is at most 2. Okay, so I, I'm just off by 50 everywhere. So if I plug in 2 over it, now it should work, right? Right, so I, I, yeah. It is n terms. No, it's not. There, there's n plus 1 terms. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so you can even just kind of drop. Okay, cool. So 2 over y, i minus 1. Okay, and. I don't think I'm gonna get it in time. Do I just take the log? Okay, so let f of t equals log 2 over t minus 1. I just want to use 12 from alpha. I'm, I'm too old for this. Honestly, um, I should just have everything, right? You know, why, why? I don't know. I don't need the twos everywhere. <laughs> ah, dang it. It's not convex. Uh... Okay, the other thing I can do is... Oh. Okay, let me write it in the product for a moment. Uh... I could change the variables again. It's possible that, um... Yeah, so let, let, maybe I should change the variables again. So... Why not just expand 10 a minus pi quarters and have 10a be the variables? That's what we did already. Um, yeah. So we're going to let zi equals 1 over yi minus 1, and maybe I'll try to prove a contrapositive. So some, now this is just some positive number. And then... 
So now if the product of the z's is at least into the n plus one, then I want like z Okay, wait a minute. I, I've seen this before. Okay, I know where this is going. Um, do I really have to do the... I've seen this problem before. Um, it shows up in Mildorf, I think. As an example, it's the example of the n minus one equal value principle. Problem is equivalent to that. I really didn't want to do that. So what do I do, guys? <laughs> like, I know this is the problem that's supposed to be the example of using n minus one every, but I don't really want to do it. But I don't know if I have a choice. Like, it is what it is. I haven't applied any inequalities yet. <sighs> Shoot, I mean 0 to n, not 0 to n plus 1. The indexing is really funny. There are other ways to proceed. Homogenize. Okay, I'll homogenize. Okay, if we're going to homogenize, we should use the second statement then. So let's go for the second version with homogenization then this is equivalent to saying that so i'm going to substitute and then oh uh, it's like why what wait is this just gonna work never mind what so i don't need a second rephrasing one over yi, sub homogenize, you get this. This is gonna just be true by AMGM because these guys. <laughs> okay, uh. <laughs> Okay, I guess you can just homogenize. Uh, wait, seriously? I know this problem. Really? Okay, well, well, I learned something new today then. Doesn't Jensen work? Uh, I don't think so. I checked then log 1 over x minus 1 is like not convex, I think. Okay, well, okay. No, I think it's log of 1 over x minus 1 isn't convex. Tangent line trick, I think, is unlikely to work because there's a fixed function and... Any, uh, it might work, actually. Maybe. I think it's convex. Really? Did I... Oh, sorry, you're right. It actually is convex. I don't know how to read the graph. Um... So I was done. Ah. Shame on me. I used Wolfram Alpha and then didn't use it correctly. That's even worse. Okay, sorry. Jensen works, so no need to use tangent line trick. Uh, in addition, like, shame on me for not homogenizing. That, that's actually a really big mistake on my part, like, not considering the homogenized inequality. What happened to Jadon? We gave up. <laughs> By a 4 to 1 vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is... Oh, shame on me.
Shame on me. Like, not homogenizing this is like a really big mistake. Uh, like, you you absolutely have to consider the homogenize. Like, it's it's such a clean homogenization. Like, you got a product with a bunch of plus signs. How could you not consider it? But also, I I misapplied Yensun. <laughs> As in, I tried to check whether the function was concave or not, and failed. Convex, concave, whatever. Uh, okay, well that was embarrassing. At least we did it. What's next on the list? The 